So today we need to learn about some Harley 4-speed stuff. More specifically, the shifting mechanisms, or the ratchet lids, jockey lids, rotary lids. Um, so what's the difference between a jockey lid and a ratchet lid? Can I put a ratchet lid on my rotary top? Um, which kind of ratchet lid should I use if I'm jockey shifting or foot shifting? What's the deal with FL drum, shift drums and FX shift drums? Well, we'll go into all that and uh, hopefully have a good understanding or a basic understanding of uh, how these things work and the differences between them and some parts interchangeability. Um, and uh, just one thing to remember when we're discussing all this stuff, you know how Harley parts are. Um, there's a lot of gray area, uh, a lot of crossover, a lot of rules don't apply to everything, so keep that in mind as we're discussing this stuff. Let's take a look. The 4-speed was one of Harley's greatest innovations. It remained virtually unchanged for nearly 50 years. So I suppose the first lid we should start with is the one that started it all. Um, 1936, um, Knucklehead came out, of course, and uh, so did their four-speed transmission. Prior to that, they used a lot of three-speeds. Um, this this uh, lid is synonymous with uh, tank shifting. Um, a lot of people call it a jockey lid, but uh, it was used for all the tank shift bikes. Um, Harley used the tank shift for a pretty long time. I think the, the first ratchet top or foot shift came out in 52. Um, but they continued to use the tank shift up until 60, mid 60s, 65 maybe. Um, either way, um, it's a pretty simple mechanism. Um, you have your, your shift drum, and this one happens to have a 36 part number. Um, and your detents and your detent spring here. Um, so the deal with these is every gear that you shift into, the arm moves, unlike a ratchet top which returns to center. Because as you're moving through your shift gate on your, uh, on your tank shift, you're moving to each position, engaging each gear. These are good for tank shifts. A lot of guys will run them as a jockey lid. Um, the only downfall is it doesn't return to center. So in um, I believe early 50s, 52 maybe, um, Harley came out with the ratchet top lid. And the beauty of the ratchet top lid is it's still the basic construction of the, um, the old jockey lid or tank shift drum. But now you have this ratcheting mechanism, um, which returns the, uh, the shift plate to center. So as you're going through these gears, there's a return and it comes back. There's springs in here and some shift and some pawls and that engage each gear. And as you ratchet through the gears, you can see that your shifter comes back to center. This is used on foot shift bikes um, that Harley came out with in the in the early 50s and used, you know, we're still foot shifting today. One important thing about ratchet lids is, though, there's several different um, kinds of ratchet lids. And the difference being in the shift drums. Um, now, now, this one is your stamped metal construction like the early ones. This is a cast and machined shift drum. And uh, there were some of both. There were some of this style in the FLs as well. Um, the main difference um, on an FL and an FX style shift drum. Um, most notable is, you can see on the FL, the shifter linkage attaches at the bottom. On the FX, the shifter linkage attaches at the top. That's probably the easiest way to spot them. But you can't always go by that. Um, there were a couple of models in the early 70s that had the FX style lid, but with an FL shift drum. So what you gotta do, 
out, you got to check your part number. A quick search on Google yielded me this excellent photo comparing um, an FX and an FL shift drum and uh, just does a way better job explaining it than I could do. If you look at them, you can see that the FX drum on the left and the FL drum on the right are virtually mirror images of each other. That's how you can get that reverse shift pattern. The other telltale signs, of course, are that, that dash 74 part number on the FX and then, of course, FL on the FL shift drum, even though they are both cast and machined drums. So, if you're looking for an FX shift drum, make sure it meets all that criteria. And they're definitely more rare than the FL style shift drums. And um, that's that's important to you, uh, you chopper guys that um, that want to that want to jockey shift your bikes. Um, not 100% necessary, but really nice to have because the shift pattern is different. If you put a jockey shifter on an FL style shift drum, you're going to be shifting with your shifter one back and then two, three, four forward, slapping forwards. A lot of guys on their jockey shift bikes, they want to slap shift backwards. So you can for that for that application, you need an FX shift drum, which allows you one forward and three backwards. So you can slap that shifter backwards as you're as you're flying down the road. But this one, this bike here is equipped with an FX shift drum, meaning that uh, when you start off one forward, and then once you're up and cruising, going down the road, you're slapping backwards to fourth gear. There's fourth, third, second, neutral, and first. This is why a lot of guys really like the FX shift drums for a jockey shift bike like this. So this is a 57 FLH and of course FLH would have an FL style shift drum and it follows this is a, a foot shift bike and it follows the traditional shift pattern one down and three up. Um, you can tell that it's an FL shift drum not only by its shift pattern but also because the shifter linkage attaches at the bottom of the ratchet top. So in 79, um, the four speeds went to a completely new design. Um, the same basic gear sets and everything, but now they're called, they're, they have a rotary top. It's called a rotary top transmission. As you shift through it, you can see that plate on the top rotates and the uh, shifter forks follow those grooves in that rotary top right there. Good design, um, work really well. So a lot of guys are always asking, can I put a ratchet top on my rotary top transmission? And the answer is no. If you look, if you look at the bottoms of these, you can see that the, the shape of the casting is completely different. So as you can see, this is a ratchet top style four speed. This is a rotary style. And you can see in the gaskets, how different the bolt patterns are. So the ratchet top will not physically fit on a rotary top. So if you want a ratchet top transmission, you got to change out the whole transmission, unfortunately, because it's entirely different casting. So regardless of which top you have, they all basically work the same. These channels in your shift drum, as they move, your shift forks follow them, engaging and disengaging whatever gear you're trying to go in or out of.